What's going on, Tamers? Welcome to Digipod, the digital podcast. I'm your boy, Varney, today in the studio with only my co-host, Dan. But we yes. have the world champion, Peter Frankie, in the studio with us today. How you doing, Peter? What's up? What's up, guys? Let me ask. How's it feel to be a champion, the world <laughs> champion? How does that? it feel? <laughs> It was pretty good. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of stress off my shoulders after that uh, that event. <laughs> oh, oh I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I mean, we got a lot to talk about. <laughs> for sure, for sure. There's, there's a lot to discuss. Um, <laughs> we'll get there. I, I, I bet it was definitely a lot of stress. I can honestly say... Um, in those shoes, I would be shitting my pants. <laughs> it's like world stage, all the eyes on me, you know, like all that type of shit. I'm just like, bro, like the, it was what? It was 16 of you, right? It was 16. Well, supposed to be 16. Someone no showed. Okay. Still kind Imagine of no, no showing to worlds. <laughs> what, a, what a life we live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was... It was it was sick. It was sick. <laughs> it's like um, I don't I don't think I'm feeling it this weekend. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna skip. <laughs> yeah, I woke up with the <laughs> I guess bad stomach ache and said, Nah, I'm not going in. <laughs> oh man, I feel like I'd be there, y'all. My foot could be amputated. I'm like, nah, I gotta go to world, <laughs> sir. You can't get out of bed. I'll play in the bed. Put me on the webcam. Facts. <laughs> I'll do everything I can. (laughs) Oh, boy. Well, anyways, we got a lot to talk about tonight, like I said. But the first thing we talk about, because it's the thing that we always talk about, we never skip it, we always do it, is locals. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This weekend, this past weekend, this week, it's not my story to tell. It's Dan's story. Uh, uh Uh-oh. Dan, your story of redemption. The redemption arc (laughs) from last week. (laughs) (laughs) The redemption arc. So uh, for anybody that didn't listen last week, I was we had the Typhoon Cups, and then this week was the continuation with the uh, what was a Spring Break Festival thing is called right. So spring break events, uh, green only cups, yeah. green only cup basically type thing. We ran it back to back weeks. Last week, as everybody listened to, I did terrible. Went two and two, played arguably my worst tournament. Um, just poor. Uh, let's see, poor playmaking, poor everything. Even though I went Oof. two and two, uh, it was just, it was just a bad day in the office type of thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, everyone has one of those. I feel like this week though, four uh, zero won the event. Uh, I did some changes to the deck that I found out uh, a lot of the star deck stuff matches really well with Hercules Cobbleterrymon bugs. Um, so I adjusted the deck with those new cards and uh, with better playmaking, with better understanding what the deck does, understanding what um the new stuff the new green deck stuff uh does i end up taking it 4-0 uh let's see round one i played against i think everybody i think all four matches were some type of alliance deck uh alliance uh mega gargo shenanigans uh 2-1 uh best combo tonight is being able to go rapid mon and then go on Hercules Cobbleterium on over because you have the Modimon egg. So you just D-Digivolve their potential ace Digivolve counter. And then go <laughs> Hercules Cobbleterium on effect, suspend, effect the Modimon attack over unsuspended. Gains piercing plus Rapimon's uh, trash security. So it's a beautiful combo you can do plus whatever DP boosting. And then a lovely effect of <laughs> unaffected by options as long as suspended. So... Unaffected of, by your opponent's Digimon effects. Correct. That's what I said. That's what I said. Digimon effects. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, especially in this format, there's a lot of uh, interactions with Digivolve with Rapidmon, with Neg from Golden Rapidmon, and they obviously got Mega Gargo Ace that has a lot of crazy effects to it. So it's, it was kind of a good counter to it. Uh, round two, I played against Gino, who was our last week's champion. I won that one two one as well. He's playing uh, Mega Gargoyle shenanigans again. Uh, <laughs> Mega commentary on Ace came up a lot because he tried. This is the first time I did this combo, and I started doing it after that. Uh, I would go and wrap him on. Uh, let's see, Digivolve something, and like unfortunately I had to pass turn. 
he would go Rapidmon, Digivolve, and then swing, and then I would ace Mega Cobbterrymon. So Me Mega Cobbterrymon, uh, Blast, Counter, uh, plus 3k DP, and then he go, <laughs> let's switch that tag targets with me. And then I just stop all their like uh, alliance shenanigans because sometimes they're only boosting up like a 1k. So if you're like 10k or 11k or something, you just dies and then just like their whole game plan just falls out. Uh, that happened in a crucial moment for him and that cost him the game for game three, I think it was. Then round three, another redemption. Played against Varney. We had we had the run back again. This time I won 2-1 as well. Uh, he was playing the same shenanigans as last week, which is the Leopardmon mixed with Alliance mixed with Imperial Jamon. I call Ace. it Leopardmon Double Typhoon. <laughs> double it's Typhoon. Leopardmon Double Typhoon. That's yeah. What it is. Um, round two was the only time he actually went into combo. Uh, I was just able to keep control of board state. I think probably the best way to describe it because I, I made sure I didn't let him get into Leopardmon. Because the moment he gets Leopardmon, it might get too crazy for Herc because he's only like a really a one stack deck. Um, so being able to do that with the Rapamons, <laughs> so he doesn't ca counter because he was trying to counter me the whole time. He would try to go to a Golden Rapid or even a regular Rapid. Uh, again, Digivolve, swing over, or even Mega Commentary because I hit him with the, he Digivolve my Rapid and then I went, all right, Mega Commentary, Ace. So that co a combo popped here's, up. So here's what happened. Right, I did evolved his yep. rapid. Yep. I swung. Yep. I went. No, I, it was because I uh, I swung with alliance, but I have the Terry assistant that when you swing with alliance, when alliance suspends, you get to did evolve reduce cost by two. So I got to swing D did evolve his rapid mon, and that first attack went through. And then he came up, he did evolve into a rapid mod, he did evolve me. And I was like, that's cool. I got another one. I'm going to pull off the same exact combo. You're about to get fucked, buddy. It turns out I was the one yeah. who got fucked because he go, he starts asking, how big is it? I was like, it doesn't fucking matter that how big it is. Part, I'm swinging like, on security. <laughs> he was like, it doesn't matter. How big is it? I was like, it's fucking 9K. He's like, Bad. all right, blast Digivolve. I'm like, no. That, no. <laughs> that's what annoyed the FM because I'm just like trying to ask a question from him. And like, he was trying to act like he was like big brain in me. I'm like, it's no, you're was, not. No, it's because I had jamming. I was like, it doesn't matter how big I am. I have jamming. He's like, it doesn't matter. I'm like, okay, fine. It's 9K. Oh. Oh, make a cup of Terry Mon. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that shit was so funny, but like annoying well, at the same man. time. <laughs> that split moment because he About just did <laughs> He just would not answer the question at that moment. Like it was like a good like a good 30, 40 seconds. I'm just like, yo, what's the DP? He's like don't worry about it. He has Jeremy. <laughs> What's the DP? I'm just like, oh my god! I just need to need to know just to confirm before I do something. Oh, good lord! Like I don't know. I think at that moment he forgot like about like blast Digivolve and like Mega Commentary on Ace because he's like, all right, he went into that rapid. That was in your deck. Yeah, he, he went to rapid. He he don't got no Mega Commentary Ace. I'm not worried like about I said, it. It's because I did it the first time and yeah. you didn't do it. And I was like, I'm good to do this the second time. He's gonna get fucking fucked. I'm about to bounce this bitch out of here too because I had the Leopard X right. to follow up with. Yeah. Yeah. Then he did that, and I was like, "We lost." That, that, <laughs> that, that was like that was round one, two. That was game one, I think, that happened, right? That was game. And that one. was yeah. Then game two, he went full shenanigans. I my fucking mistakes. I he learned went, from my mistakes. He went to full shenanigans. I just, I had potential game to like clear his board, and then he drew the courts. I was like, I had no outs at this moment. And then round game three. Yikes. Uh, it was a little bit back and forth, and then it was one a of, lot of back and forth. We, one of us went to courts first, I think. You I went to courts first, I and courts then first. I courts. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, mm. you got rid of my courts, and then I was like, "All right, Ben, now my Herks, my Hercules commentary, am unaffected by your effect. Now I'm just yeah. gonna ram over your stuff and then try to go for game." Um, it was a really good uh, three games. And then round for round four, once again, a Lions deck, but his was a little bit different. He was playing like black uh, Mega Gargo, which is so weird because I was like not expecting it. And he popped off with it. I was like, <laughs> what? How big is this? Randomly 13K and then randomly <laughs> gives two Digimon block a reboot. I was like, all right, this is problematic. Yeah. Like he just it was like he kept walling me up to try like let, let, let me deck out or something. Uh, eventually, it didn't get that far. But like that's how I felt like after a while he was trying to do. 
Um, and at one point, I went courts, and then that was GG, and I took uh, round four. Mm. My locals was 3 1, my only loss being to Dan. <laughs> I went 6-1-1 over the span of two weeks. And you know what? I may not have gotten win either week, but I'm 6-1-1 over two weeks. I'll take 6-1-1 in the green cups because we're going back to regular non-green tourneys after this week. Thank God. I like I like my deck, but I'm if I had to play this another week, I'd fucking shoot myself. <laughs> oh, yikes. I just want to play my shenanigans. All right. That's all I'm I ready. That's I'm fair. ready for my shenanigans, too. <laughs> so there is um, nothing eventful here. We went 3-1. We came in third. Um, luckily, tiebreakers didn't screw Tyler, who came in second. Because in, in another in an alternate universe, tiebreakers would have screwed him and I would have came in second. Oh, it would have been me. I, if I would have lost, I would have like dropped to fourth, because usually that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I had the worst tiebreakers ever. <laughs> but you know, that's it. That's me. Peter, how about you? How has oh. been your Digi Week back? Uh, I told myself I would stay away from locals when I got back, but then I ended up going to locals because people wanted, <laughs> <laughs> people wanted to see me again. So I had this. Okay. They want to see the world champ. Yeah, I wasn't gonna. Then I wasn't gonna join the tournament, and then the owner was like, "No, no, it's on me. You're joining." I was like, "Okay, I guess I'm playing locals." <laughs> <laughs> uh, so my locals don't. Uh, we actually didn't do the only green cup. Uh, we we keep it as like a vote in house. Do you want to do green? Do you want to play regular stuff with the new things? And that's what everybody voted. So, uh, me, I was not, I'm, I making sure I'm not touching my world's deck because I'm sick of looking at yellow and purple right now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I bet. <sighs> we were like that with our own decks when it came to Nats because you, obviously, because you went to Nats too. Uh, we were just like the, the cost of grind. I was like, I'm not touching that deck for at least two months. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. So instead, I was uh, trolling around. I played, uh, I actually played Levy for my first locals. Uh, I actually lost to the green deck. Let's see. So it was round one. I played against Red Hybrid. Because, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. so somebody in my locals was like, oh, I can't believe you went with SecCon. Why didn't people play Red Hybrid? I could have beat <laughs> And then I, I, luckily, I got him first round. So everybody has that one guy in locals that loves talking crazy. So yeah, I got to, <laughs> I got to settle that. <laughs> Uh, good, it good. was easiest to all of my life with Levy. It's, it's Le <laughs> Levy's a very crazy deck. I'm not gonna go into detail sure. why, right? Because we already know. Round two, I played against D Police. Uh, well, D Police and Levy is like a, a, a five year old walking into a candy shop. <laughs> all those cards by effects, please. You just <laughs> keep replenishing sure, your board with sure. the little boys. I want those. Uh, it was three rounds because. Uh, uh, on that day, we had it Wednesday night. Not that many people showed up. And then my last round was with one of my best, uh, one of my besties, my boy Nick Silver. He was one of the only people playing a green deck, Mega Gargo. And that rapid, that uh, was a Black Rapid Mon level five is yeah, silly. The beast of a card. <laughs> yeah. Plus it has like the protection of uh, yes. effects. He said, okay, devolve you, dude. I'm on I can't be deleted. I said, you can't be what now? <laughs> and I looked at and I looked at the two levy X's in my trash and the two levies in my hand and my biting crushes. I'm like, you can't be what now? <laughs> uh, oh god. That was so I thought that this was, was a green deck. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh. Oh, green has something nice. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. So he took the first, I got second. So we both got our little winners terrier months. I have it here somewhere, but a little too lazy to look right now. Uh, my, let's see, that was Wednesday. Thursday was my second locals. We play at uh up in Toy Wizard, like Nanuet, New York or New Jersey. It's like right there in the line. I don't care for semantics. Uh, they also didn't do the green tournament. Also in house vote. A lot of our locals do that. And I got to play Omni Ma Rush instead, because <laughs> just because I think that deck is so fun. <laughs> Uh, I ended up actually taking first place with that. First uh, first round was against... Ooh, what was it again? was actually against Levy. 
and because Amima Rush doesn't play any level four lowers, half their deck just gets turned off. <laughs> exactly. And since a lot of my cards get played in the breeding area, the other half of the deck kind of just doesn't get to do anything. So that was pretty cool. Uh, so round two, I had somebody playing my deck card for card. And <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, this is familiar. Uh, I was surprised I was able to take that because I never, I didn't know how the Omni Rush deck or the matchup would be. But We're I talking about like Dark Master Omni Zoo style, Master. right? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dark Masters. What well, would have been Apocalypse Mom, but instead he got removed for Unfortunately. these choice. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fortunately. Oh my God. I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, oh God. Oh, don't tell I'm, me I'm, about I'm, those I'm, guys. I was, I, was, I was a person that was hyped for Apocalypse Mom and Dark Dark Masters just because of Ugh. the archetype and because the, they're cool as hell. It's just unfortunate Apocalypse Mom was you know busted. But anyways. yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, so. That was cool because the way the deck played out, I was just able to. Uh, Omnimon Zork defeat is a crazy card, by the way. <laughs> I just kept for sure to abuse that. The timeless card. Oh yeah. And let's see, what was my round three? <laughs> round three, I played against, as a matter of fact, Grace Nova, because uh, well, one of one of the people in uh, my questionable plays team loves that deck. He's not bad with it, but. Apollo, uh, what is his name? Apollo Mon? The level six, the red one? Yeah, the red one, yeah. Unfortunately, every time he was swung, I had, it's pretty easy to play around because, oh, our security's moved. I have to delete something. So every time he swung, there was a Zwart defeat on board. So he had to kill it. So he had to kill himself. <laughs> this is, this is, <laughs> go ahead, swing at me, please. Please. <laughs> one of his checks was actually into another Zwart defeat. So. <laughs> <laughs> so that was That's what I love about Zork Defeat, baby. Oh, yeah. It harkens back to OG Sec Oh, my God. I missed that. <laughs> Same. So that was that. was that. And then my last round was... What was that dude playing? Oh, it was actually against... Not Numamon. Sukumon. If I remember correctly. Yeah, it was against Sukumon. And... Well, that's just that's just lesser security control. He, <laughs> he I killed the tamers. None of their uh oh, you turn me into a suka token. It's fine. I still get my effects. I'll still pop your board. I don't care. Go ahead. Right. That was cool. Uh that's been my oh, let's see. We actually had a locals yesterday. Cause I showed up because I was bringing gifts to people. Cause I did bring stuff back over from Japan, whether it's snacks, some cards from Bond, not cards, some sleeves from Bandai Fest. So I got to play that again, and I got scrubbed out with Leviathan. <laughs> and we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Leviathan's been scrubbing me out all this time, bro. Don't worry about it. It either works or it doesn't work. Yeah, it's just the purple Greymon. That's all it is. Yeah, <laughs> purple, yeah, no, exactly. Purple doing Greymon things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a way to put it. That's interesting. It is a f- actual rep- ac- accurate Ugh. representation of all of my trials and tribulations of that deck. Mike, one of our other co-hosts, he was like, Farney, didn't you want to play that deck? I was like, yeah, I did. And I played it and it fucking hates me. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking hates me, all right? I literally cannot play that deck. I It's to the point, I'm like, bro, why am I putting so many one-ofs in this deck? Because it's just like, I don't know what's going to work and what's not going to work. <laughs> like, something's going to stick at some point. I'm just going to keep throwing shit at the wall until something sticks. Mm. That, that That's the level I'm on for me. But you know what? The Take, uh, Frozen, and was it Will? Yeah, William? Well, yeah William. Those three who took Levi to the to top four? There's something else because I I tried. It couldn't be me. It was almost me too. Because it's then same thing. <laughs> they hated me two days in a row, and I was like, okay, get this out of my face. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> oh boy. All right, cool. So we're we'll get to we'll get to that because I'm very interested to hear your thoughts on that. But before that, we're gonna talk about TBL. So y'all know normally we talk about TBL here on Pod, but recently Adrian's been doing his Meta Snapshot series over on YouTube. So instead of going over TBL here, if you want to see and hear more about the TBL, what's going on with it, who won, what decks are doing what, you can pop over on YouTube, check out the DigiGuard United channel, and you can check out Adrian's Meta Snapshot videos. He puts a lot of work and effort into those, and we appreciate him for doing that. So go and give my boy some love. Now, with that in mind, 
Let's move on to our poll results and our questions. Now, yeah, you go, you go enjoy this one, Peter. I guarantee. <laughs> this is a very you good the one. listeners. Oh, oh, oh. There's a very specific reason <laughs> I asked y'all this question because I knew the next <laughs> podcast that we had lined up. Yep. <laughs> so, Peter, I asked our audience. Our poll, our Q and A question for the week was: What is the most frustrating aspect of playing against security control? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love this. This is great. So, we're going to start off with our boy Asura Kage. He said, definitely security bombs. I think everybody hates security bombs, but that's not just security control. <laughs> that's every deck when you hit your giant missile in security and you're playing. Or Doom. Ice Wall. Or wait, that's just Mike. <laughs> oh, Ice Wall. Oh, I'm getting Ice Wall, Ice Wall cards. Breath, Breath of the Gods. Can't forget that one. That's oh, a classic. Yeah. Me- Mega Deaths. Megadeth. Oh, yeah. My. Oh, Megadeth. Because they always ran like four and you'd always see <laughs> and two never failed. Fucking never failed. Fucking Megadeth. Yep. So. <laughs> yep. Don't worry. Us, us second players hate security bombs too. <laughs> yeah, even, even our own. <laughs> Gino says, the reason I like playing certain decks is because of their play style. When I face second, I'm forced to play my deck in a way I find less fun. I get adapting, but adapting to second just isn't fun. Mm. <laughs> So basically, I don't get to play the game I wanted to play. <laughs> right. I don't get to do my shenanigans. Correct. Greg, a.k.a. Panzer, says identifying what they do and don't have in their list makes game one. There we go. I was like, G1. Vanguard brain. What? Makes what? game one harder to navigate than standard archetypal decks. <laughs> Fair. Sure. Sure. Jay Wilson says, knowing that my normal game plan isn't going to work. Jay Stort says, I would save the looping just when they're about to deck out. They add the cards I just cleared back into the deck and continue to put them back into security. Yeah. That's pretty tough. Yeah. CK says, not having ADP, LOL. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that is certainly something. Yeah. <laughs> I can I can say with uh, the utmost honesty that as much as I like playing security control, playing Fenry against security control made me say, wow, why the fuck aren't I playing ADP in this deck? <laughs> and when I got home, I promptly put ADP in that deck because I was like, I am not dealing with this shit again. I will not lose my turn at negative two memory again. Someone did that to me again as well. They, <laughs> uh, I want to personally say they did that once they saw me show up, but I'm not going to go that far. All I know is I saw four ADPs in this man's deck. And that Damn. was four ADPs in this man's deck. And that was enough for me to, <laughs> that was enough for me to feel a type of way. <laughs> <laughs> for you to feel personally attacked. He, he, he hard played a Tyrannomon and I saw two ADPs and then I saw one in security and one play out his hand. I said, oh, <laughs> you, <laughs> it's people like you. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know, know oh, what your record yeah. is past me. <laughs> it's people like you, the reason I hard play Black Serafi mod for yes. 12. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, I'll Lord. give you 10, but how, what are you going to do about this? <laughs> That's not even a joke. <laughs> uh, uh, Walker says either they're not playing to do anything, and then it becomes entirely a me problem to actually end the game. Or they run a million recovery options that makes the grind feel impossible to get through. That's all fair. That's all of our responses, Peter. As, as our resident Seccon world champion, <laughs> <laughs> what do you, what do you have to say uh, to people about playing against Seccon? How would you advise them to not feel so frustrated playing against Seccon? If Ooh, not feel so frustrated, there is a way to not feel frustrated playing against Seccon. Oh yikes! So. <laughs> A lot of these are, a lot of these make sense. I'm going to say a lot, not all, right? Because some of them are just, oh, I don't get to play the deck I want to, the way I want to play it. Second is a deck that forces you to actually use maybe an extra brain cell or two when you're up against it on the account of now you have to think. A Digimon revolves around, oh, I'm just going to take this whole table and turn it sideways. What color or what flavor I want to do with it in doesn't matter. Do I want to do green and do alliance? Yeah, sure, why not? Do I want to do it in red? Swing through the whole stack in one check? Sure, why not? But you can't do that with set con, so that's where a lot of people get upset. <laughs> uh, 
for people to play against it, uh, there are 100% gonna be, uh, let's see, what me and my friends refer to as like, hard to win matchups, 80-20 matchups. Like, yeah, for example, for sure. Fenrir, once they get 180 p they're more than likely going to win that turn unless I unless you give me a chance to hard sense that was But <laughs> and even then, they, Fenrir probably yeah, has confirm. Fenrir probably has the best matchup now that they can do that. Only because they can also go, cool, thanks for this twelve memory. Hearts <laughs> Hell Helluga. Pop it. Luga, I still keep turn. Yep. I just continue all my day. I hope you have another Shadow Seraphi, because if not, I'm going to win this next fucking turn. <laughs> right. Uh, Red Hybrid is always going to be a good matchup against it. Now, Grant, you don't have to take my word and say, oh, play these decks, right? Because, Grant, you also have to understand, if you're going to play with the idea of, oh, I have to beat Seccon in mind, now you're just taking away from your other matchups. Because... Homeboy with the four ADPs in his deck built for me didn't win a single match for the rest of that night. So <laughs> I guarantee, so, I guarantee those eight. So, <laughs> I, I guarantee those ADPs. Those ADPs were bricks ninety percent of the time because they, <laughs> he was not playing against Sekon. <laughs> By all means, please. I love when yeah. people do that because then I just get to watch them go the rest of the day on their merry way, not winning ever again. <laughs> but uh, it isn't. It is, it is a hard game. You have to. It, the game turns from can I get my boss monster out to, fuck now I have to manage my resources, and how good is my deck at doing that? Purple loves drawing their cards. Leviathan, sure. we we saw uh, against Take, great player by the way. He was decking himself out because Man kept drawing. The girl was one, screaming. Yeah. I was like, "Stop drawing! If you, you go lose. Yeah, if you want to <laughs> win against every other matchup." with as little pro problems as possible you draw the you put your draw engine in well i don't care about that <laughs> exactly red if you uh red hybrid especially uh if i don't see i guess shadow Serafi or and well for worlds i did fix up the deck for red hybrid specifically but we'll go we'll go into that later uh if you get your aldemon out sure now your security doesn't mean anything to me if they have a shadow Serafi. Now you just got to say, okay, cool. I'm willing to get rid of one of my emperors to get that off the board. And then I can just go, on, sure. go on with the rest of my day. There's probably an ace underneath the shadow. So I'm going to get this free emperor gray. And then I'm just going to go the rest of my combo. Um, that's actually why I put Venus one in. Like, just so I can stop that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Blue is going to be horrendous. But let me see. The best blue deck to play against Seccon. Blue Flare, hands down. Just because they have probably the best, one of the best tamers in the game. <laughs> I get to cross from oh, my... All right, so recur from trash. I get to cross from trash. I don't care about anything ever again. Once those two tamers are out, it's like, ah, well, I'm just going to pick at you. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> For sure. And they don't care about their rookies, like, climbing up a ladder. So just, oh, all right, well. Gauss swing, Gauss mm -hmm. swing. <laughs> Gau you know, there's Gaussmon, and then if Sekon tries to play anything, and they are going to, because you're going to go Magnet Angel not recovered, they're going to go, sick, stun it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to go, oh, cool, Magnet Ace, another Magnet. Sick, stun to both. Now I get my effect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. So it sucks. Um... Also, a very underrated deck, I think. It might still hold a place in this format, especially because of decks that are around. Especially because Levia gets the good. The hard slam Levia. Stun it. Kiss my ass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's facts. But, uh, let's see. What are the... Yellow mirror matches. Vaccine, you'll never win. I'm going to tell you that. You're not going to win that. Because Vaccine in itself draws and recovers at the same time. You're yep. probably decking yourself out twice as fast as Purple will. Uh, Heavy agree. Yeah. Let's see. Numamon is actually not too terrible against it just because they don't fucking die. They don't stop. <laughs> they don't they don't stop coming. Those yeah. little slimy if, fucks. It, if it's not degrade, I'm gonna kill I'm gonna melt something and I'm probably gonna see two more bodies come out of it and that's for sure. Uh I was not going to play Death X on my list until I remembered. Oh, wait, Numamon exists. Crap. <laughs> right. Uh, 
Jeez, what a, what decks am I seeing? I covered all of those. Playing, yeah, but playing against it, like I said, you don't have to say, okay, well, if I want to win second, I'll play this deck. It's just a uh, bad luck running. Maybe not now, because people might be taking my list as I saw. But it's a resource game, and you have to try to match their energy, and it's going to be difficult. Right. I always I agree with you. Um, I always say it. Reason the real reason people hate Seccon is not because like oh security bombs or oh this that the other no it's because I can't play my dumbass deck the way I want to play my dumbass right for sure <laughs> it harkens back to BT9 format I love playing Seccon because fuck Melga it's like oh I'm I'm gonna swing jamming it and and protection into this entire stack okay bitch get chaos tanked <laughs> for sure get yeah. out of here <laughs> for sure you ain't doing nothing against chaos tank and hey. it got to the point where people were putting in their what did they call it the Pepsi package oh my yeah. god yeah running, the blue uh, red. ADP and the blue red tamer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, and then oh, I'm boy. I'm the opposite side of Varney. So like I'm a person that doesn't play that kind of just not my style of a deck. But I'm Fair. not those people who hate playing against it. So so hear me out. You probably like what the hell? This man's a madman. Nah. So Varney is a person who used to play sec on heavy. So I had the luxury <laughs> or not luxury, however you want to call it, <laughs> of doing a shit ton of play testing against sec on. And I was you know formerly a Yu Gi Oh player and formerly I used to love playing chess. So once I learned that it was more of a chess matchup type of game, I understood how to beat sec on. Um, and I think that's what a lot of people don't understand Secon or even like not even just Secon because like I don't know you've obviously been playing forever but like Examon for example like back in like it's heyday Examon was one of those type of decks where you had to like learn and strategize I guess and play a little differently than you normally accustomed to and so I, I put those decks in the same category of like all right this is I gotta put my brain on I gotta start thinking I gotta think two steps ahead and I gotta know like my resource games and how to uh, like go against playing against it. You have to understand you're gonna get effed at some point, and you gotta be you gotta be willing to be okay with that. And again, resource uh, learn how to um, manage your resources against it. Absolutely. Yeah, there there ain't no such thing as well. I'm just gonna go about my day and do what my deck does and hope for the best because because that was the no case. slight against him because <laughs> like you said, he's a great player, but. That's what Take did in that first match. And that bit him in the ass. Mm. He learned. He did learn from it. Yes. But it was, it was too little too late for that. <laughs> yeah. So moving on to our Q&A question here. Uh, I'm not going to read you the options just yet. Uh, the question is, what would you restrict or ban to nerf security control? So I'm curious. To <laughs> what would you think? Uh, actually, I guess it's two questions. Number one. What would you hate to see banned from the deck or restricted? And number two, if you were trying to be realistic, what would you restrict or ban to nerf the deck? So to say. <laughs> oh boy. So this this is a question to me, or did you ask your fans this one? Uh, I asked oh. the I asked the fans this, okay. but I'm asking you it right oh, now. Oh, so yeah. before we go to them, oh, uh, if you want to hurt the deck, 100, percent you hit a uh, Magda Angemon BT one. Okay. I want to hurt the deck right there because uh, even for the hefty cost of seven, the free recovery sucks. But that's also as, as if that's if you want to just straight up probably not kill the deck, but maybe never see it in locals ever again unless you got somebody trolling around. Uh, uh, I want to say at one point I used to say Chaos Degrade could get put to one because at one point even even now right it's still a very hard card to get any protection against but now we've seen them print cards that say hey listen if i be removed from the field i get protection or i'm just immune to certain effects uh i could say that could still go to one but cards like that i believe are also kind of needed in the format otherwise now you have everybody saying oh you can't touch me go away <laughs> exactly yep Another card that I wouldn't blame them hitting is maybe Hell Scythe to one. Because it's not just the Angemon that gets back. That also gets back, well, pretty much every card, right? The, my Air Jamon, now I get another free look at my security. A Salamon just becomes, okay, cool. Another, if you were forced to delete this, I'm going to force you to make me recover one before you do anything. Uh, 
Sheesh. That's about the only cards I think I could see realistically getting hit, honestly. Which one would you hate the most out of all oh, three of those? Would oh, it be the Magdon Jim on? Also, f- for the haters, because I can understand the sentiment. The purple Kari. I can see Kenny. <laughs> 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 I've heard this one. And while I understand, those guys are... Uh, <laughs> those, those guys <laughs> kick rocks. <laughs> <laughs> they kick, rock. kick rocks with open toe shoes, as I've still Ooh, heard. That yeah. one's a funny shit statement. The... Of all those, the one I would hate the most is the Magna Angel one because that is the, uh, with all the options, support, all that good stuff, he is the star of the deck. He's not only your level five, but he's only he's the only non-ace card we have right now that's just straight up, give me a recover one. Even Jet Sophie, she got put to one because she was easy to get out, which she can still come back to four, by the way, but I'll get hang somewhere down the line from the table. Uh, all, both, of us, both of us agree with that statement, so you're not the only one I think so. As some people don't think we need unrestricted sec plus or recover one, even though we have unrestricted sec plus one in the game. So Right, right. Well, there is that, right? Like, you can, you can realistically go, okay, cool, security plus seven. And yep. the fact that it's a little biased, in my opinion. People don't care about that, but they'll focus on this but that's the me. recovery part right but, yeah but it, i gotta swing through one more security god damn it yeah right but it's <laughs> just like it's like i said oh you don't get to play the game you want to play oh yeah. boohoo and <laughs> 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 use an extra brain cell uh <laughs> but yeah, it has to be magna angel would be the most hurtful thing to me because i'd agree with that now you have to revolt now if you want a a security control deck to work I think you would have to backpedal into the D Reaper version where you play the uh, with gatekeeper, the gatekeepers with the Alliance and all that stuff. And that's not, that's not a terrible build. It's not a terrible deck either, but it's certainly uh, not the best for, uh, variant. That's the word. Right. So the audience said out of 20 votes, the card with the number one set of votes was BT1 technology mod for sure. Seven people <laughs> said fuck that card. <laughs> <laughs> Five people said fuck Chaos Deck. <laughs> Chaos Deck coming in second. And then we had a three way tie for third with two votes for Venus Mon. I know some people hate their Venus Mon. Me, myself, Venus Mon. Two votes for Hellsight and two votes for the BT4 Kari. Only one vote for, the, for Salomon. So. Nice to see Salomon doesn't get Salomon. too much hate. Salomon. Salomon, yeah. Wow. <laughs> the little Yo. cute little doggy. <laughs> Salomon. <laughs> Salomon. I think that's them just yeah. hating on the, the Nats match I had where I had three Salomons and recovered three. But that's, Bro, yeah. that's about it. That was a wild <laughs> moment. <laughs> we were watching that live. We were just like, oh, my God. Bro, when that Salomon, what, what was it? When uh, Was it when the Salomon swung into security and took out the Levimon X or what? what no, it was when Leviak swung into security and hit the Salomon, mm. but the the Leviamon was like one or two k. Oh yeah, yeah. After the, the I was log. like, <laughs> I was like, how can you? I was like, how can you hate the Salomon? Salomon just took out this big ass crop, bro. Come on, Salomon, bro. It's big ass dog. It has been, it has been declared as of Nets, as of Los Angeles. A dog. Nets. He is a dog. Leviamon is a dog. Best dog. <laughs> And then we had one person say other and that they would elaborate. So moving on to our other people who have elaborated, some of the responses that we're hearing here is, uh, I don't think anything needs to be hit in second. It's not a tier one deck and it's a deck that's constantly changing to answer certain decks in the meta. Sure, you can hit the cards mentioned in the Q&A, but there are replacements <laughs> that could fairly easily be slotted in. And who says if these cards are hit? Or who says if these cards, if hit, are relevant for Secon, BT16, and onward. Um, another person says losing Hellscythe would hurt the most, which I'd probably agree with. Um, Magna Anj- it's like a throw up between Magna Anjimon and Hellscythe. You could, but I agree. I think you hit Magna Anjimon, it's like fuck, and you play that Anj or Anj Woman. It's probably mm-hmm. like the easiest to Your play next, because it's not yeah. a sec plus one. Yeah. But it's still a free play level five that's yellow that lets you digivolve. Um, but it forces you to play like a different way. Right. So at least you can still play the Hellsight. But Hellsight does hit a little bit of recursion. 
Um, Akarun says, I wouldn't restrict ban anything. It really, classic Seccon really attacks and tries to deck people out. The strategy is to hard play slash never digivolve and continue attacking. Um, because every time they recover, that's them drawing from their deck so they can actually deck out fast. I like these guys because they use the brain cells. <laughs> right. These are, you know, we yeah. have a lot of good I like people the realistic in the community. Ones. So we have a, this is why I like people to engage and give us yeah. some elaborate responses in our Q&As so we can have some nice topics and discussions because that's what podcasts These people sound like people I converse with on a regular. So I like them because <laughs> I've brought those. We, we've all talked about those points. Same thing. If yeah. I, it's, all the it's, other a, one also. it's a fair thing to bring up. Like, I get it. I know it. Seccon's frustrating. That's why I don't play it anymore because the only time I would play it is at locals and I'm not trying to terrorize everybody at locals like that. <laughs> except when I'm trying to, you know, win. Like store championships, right, right, right. Then right. you see it. Then you see different Varney. That's dark Varney, you know. But and you still uh, lose. I think it was. What was a tie? Something you had. I one didn't time. fucking lose. I tied against. <laughs> the, I know he don't listen to this podcast. So I, I can say I tied about to a fucking slow playing ass motherfucker. You know, you want to talk about frustrating. It's <laughs> everybody turning into slow players because the set con is frustrating. But, but Pete, Pete, what are you talking about? <laughs> we're the slow players. Yeah, we're the, we play set cards. Yeah, it's my fault. We're the ones who take, you know, five minutes a turn to decide whether or not we want to play Lonky. Ooh, or maybe we play a Wyvern. Oh, God. Or drop two Tamers. It's only one. My bad. I should just play zero cards per turn instead of the one. My bad. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Uh, it's been five minutes. I know I haven't done anything. I'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be the biggest fuck you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh good lord oh no nah, now we're about to get into the juicy part of podcast so that was our q a that was our poll results thank you guys for responding always please make sure you respond because i love reading your shit um oh wait actually i have some more from youtube i lied hold on oh Slimy. time rules we'll get we'll get the time rules Ooh, time rules Ooh, i love this um, i love this conversation Okay, no, actually it wasn't too... Oh, wait, no, here they are. They're all hidden here. So another vote for Chaos Stag. I think Seccon is fine, but if they were to limit a card to be BT1 Magna Angemon, but it doesn't really need to be limited. Only frustrating thing about Seccon is going to time for their win. Well, win... <laughs> Try to win game one. <laughs> yeah. When I play in a non-tournament setting, it's not even a good deck. Fair. Uh, <laughs> <time moves. laughs> That's too funny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even gonna, I'm not so even funny. gonna approach that one because he's not entirely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny as fuck. The only way I see to nip Seccon in the butt as a whole is to nerf the recovery mechanic and set a somewhat game mechanic penalty on how much security you can have at one time. Uh, if you have more than X trash top or bottom, do you have five or seven somewhere along those lines? Or just have a set limit on how much you can recover. I would agree with you if we could limit the amount of sec plus one that we could have in game. But because you have a deck like Dorbrickmon that could literally just hard drop this dumb little fuck that has sec plus one, sec plus one, sec plus one, sec plus one, sec plus one anything spend. on the field, <laughs> have it on suspend if you have system on block and then play ADP and then burn through your security and then blitz Dorbrick. Omni for game, Dorbrick. I'm going to say no on that, Chief. <laughs> I don't need eight checks in one turn on suspend ADP. That's that's just as frustrating for me as even if I wasn't playing Seccon, I would hate for somebody to do that shit to me again, playing a non Seccon deck. Like, uh, no. Nah, although, yeah, all those, all those, I clear six security in one swing, untap and I do it again. That. Those decks also need to get addressed, but that's no one's ready for that conversation. Clearly, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Since you know, at at least right now, the thing is like, because that was the problem with Alphamon back then. Like everybody wants to talk about, like, oh, like Seccon's frustrating. Well, Alphamon was just as frustrating because that motherfucker was swing two checks on suspend. Oh wait, I could slot another door great. Oh, yeah. Swing three checks on suspend. Three, three, <laughs> swing three checks on suspend. Yeah. And playing against Seccon back then, your your answer wasn't ADP. It was I'll just play Congo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> for sure. You can't recover, and I can't go to security. I also can't be DP reduced because I got God stacked by Adoru Greymon. So fuck yeah. you, Sekon. Like, no, this is no. why. Like, it goes both ways. It needs <laughs> to be addressed on both sides. Ah, uh, yes. And I'll I'll say this again as 
in this room currently be the minority of the non seccon player <laughs> i think seccon is a fine deck for what it is because it's not it's never been a tier one deck not in the sense of best deck in the format it's always the anti-meta type of deck and that's why to me is a deck that should never ever be hit because it's again it's a, a revolving door of a deck like all those cards that you have in there right now like peter's version of Secon can be a totally different version of Secon for someone else and i think that's the cool nature of it. it's a 50 card pile that can be anything personal for you that you like in your own uh style deck correct yep right. heavy agree all right now we get to move on to the fun part of podcast so peter sure. thank you for coming in today we are going to be interviewing you and the very first question is the question we ask almost everybody on the podcast yep what's your history with both trading card games and digimon oh baby uh <laughs> we go all the way back to when all digimon was back. on uh on the early mornings before you go to school yes sir oh, man i love because that was that was WB that was my shit. Is that, oh is baby, that as, is, is that how far back it goes? Uh, WB kids. Oh yeah. But WB kids was sa- Saturday mornings. Oh. That was when they right. released new episodes, and then over the week they'd release the reruns. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was back then because Digimon appealed to me more than Pokemon. I'll be honest. Uh, Pokemon was always great, but Digimon, Digimon felt like <laughs> Digimon to me felt like it was. Oh, this is Pokemon, but for adults and, and more <laughs> serious minded people <laughs> right like yo you have terrier mon evolves into a rabbit with literal fucking gatling guns as arms <laughs> 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 uh so yeah with digimon i was always a fan like from, from the get when i first saw it back then uh for card games i originally came from Yu-Gi-Oh. uh as a lot of tcg players are i imagine because that was one of the big the big ones uh, I know Pokemon is still one of the, the, still the top one, if I remember correctly. But you don't hear Pokemon players saying, oh, I'm, I'm done with Pokemon, I'm just going to go play another game. No, a lot of people That's still play that. Yu-Gi-Oh players. Oh, God. Yu-Gi-Oh players. <laughs> they're, they're, uh, they're a specific type of people that they'll tell you they play Yu-Gi-Oh before you even ask, without even asking. Like, yo, by the way, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know if you know this. And that's slowly becoming One Piece also, but that's a different conversation. <laughs> oh, yeah. 100%. Like you- that's facts. <laughs> uh, yeah, it started with Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, and then I would dabble every now and again with like Magic. I dabble. I have dabbled in Pokemon. Uh, sheesh. I was about to start playing Yu-Gi-Oh seriously again before Digimon really dropped. And then couple of my friends have been playing it since it got announced as it's like it's rework because it, this is the whole new game as opposed to the old one a lot of people don't know that uh i didn't like tabletop simulator so i didn't get to play it like that <laughs> but then another one of my friends said hey listen i got this case and i got these cards nice so let's go fu- let's go fuck some shit up and i'm like all right well i guess we're fucking shit up and then it evolved into I like yellow because uh, I'm pussy I like recovering don't touch me <laughs> get away from me <laughs> uh, once you hit my life and you turn oh, <laughs> you turn sideways I'm like ow don't hit me please I'm sorry uh, <laughs> and uh, oh my goodness plus Patamon was my man's a lot of people also don't know that that was the Equivalent of Veg- uh, Goku going Super Saiyan for the first time. So, uh, shout out to the people that know about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Pat- yeah when Patamon turned into Angemon, that was. Uh, that was a go to moment in Digimon oh, history. Yeah. I was right there next to Goku. Uh, so, I made my deck based off that. And I did like the whole idea where, oh, this is the only archetype that can actually look at what's in my life and my protection. So, I like stuff like that. Gimmicky stuff, extra stuff. Oh, that's my forte. Uh, that's why I like Royal Knights and D Reaper and decks like that. Also, I'm a villain. Leave me alone. Uh, <laughs> but it evolved into I started off with like a yellow blue version of Set Con because I was like, oh, I can pair these up. Then I found out one of my uh, best friends, one of the original people who were trying to get me to play Digimon, played McDonald's Security Control. 
uh, Phil Pena, as a matter of fact. I know his name floats around now and then. And then he showed me his deck list, and then I made that deck list. And then it just snowballed from there. <laughs> Every format, it would be like, oh, Lilith Loop is cool. Lord Knight is cool. But you know, this yellow red set combo. Oh, yeah. blue hybrid is fire. But this yellow hybrid set con, though. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> As I was, even Alphamon, I was like, yo, Alphamon, this is cool. But I throw in four holy flames <laughs> and give that motherfucker <laughs> security minus three. And this set con, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jessmon, shit, ADP sucks. But if I play against any other deck, this set combo. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bro, that's facts. Right. When I was debating on playing second for the first Nationals, I was like, I don't give a fuck about Jessmon and ADP. I don't give a fuck if Gobblebon plays fucking Pepsi package. <laughs> but, you, but you know what I do care about? I care about BL Star. I care Ooh. about BL Star. And they're fucking... Did they have Avenged Kidmon by then? No. They didn't have Avenged Kid, but was they that had BT6? fucking uh, Nail Bolt. That I was think BT6 it was BT6 round six or seven. BT7, yeah. Yeah. They, they had cool. something that I was like, if I play Sekon in the BL Star, I'm going to fucking hate myself. Hit more than I would hate ADP from Jessmon <laughs> or ADP oh, from God. God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> like... It wasn't even a, uh, a deck... It was a deck out match, but it wasn't even like a, a grind match like that. If anything, that's what made me go into Yellow Hybrid because Susano was like, oh, see all these dudes? Yes. They're coming back. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah. Wait till I draw some yep. more cards. <laughs> Bro, I can't tell you how many times I have like susanu and been like, wow, I actually went through my entire deck like twice. I need two Susanus. <laughs> like, oh, wow. my God. You know what the biggest crime against the second players was? Oh, Bandai boy. hitting Jet Sophie before we got to play Yellow Hybrid oh, with Venus Mon. Yellow Hybrid with Venus Mon Dex Mon and Sakuya Mon Maid Mode and Four Sunrise Buster. I fucking wish I got to play that deck, R.I.P. bro. R.I.P. I, uh, I wish. <laughs> I'm not saying I support it. I am saying I understand. Because <laughs> <laughs> even oh my god, that that made me upset. As even reinforced memory boost. I support that being at one. That is an Egyptian. Yeah. That's an Egyptian god card. That needs to stay. <laughs> I, the reinforcing is dumb. That needs to stay at one. It can come back to four and probably won't matter because it decks like Lafayette, but still. <laughs> nah, that's a card that stays at one in my opinion. hundred percent, hundred percent. Has to stay at one. And you see you yellow hybrid players. This is why I was playing black or gray on heavy because I was killing them kids <laughs> before you go into them hybrids. <laughs> Especially hey, against Marty. You wouldn't have been able to kill no kids if I was get to play with Venus, my That's baby. Another I don't give a deck. F about oh Venus. That's <laughs> another you would have cared. <laughs> you would have cared. That's why when, when Shadow Serafi got announced as a card, I... ecstatic. I was like, oh, that does Bro, when what I saw now? that, I was like, what <laughs> the hell what? is this? <laughs> I remember re I remember reading on Reddit. People were like, "Oh no, Sekhon just got another support card." And I was like, "You damn right know it, baby." That was that's Sekhon support. That wasn't the energy over here on my end. It was like, "Yo, this card is." Everyone was like, "Yo, this card is whack," and I was like, "Oh, it's whack now." And then I hard played it against the War Greymon, and they were like, "That does what now?" <laughs> oh, good lord! They said Yuya. I said, "Cool, Shadow Serafi." All right, swing <laughs> Devolve. What now? <laughs> How many checks? No, you, got three checks? <laughs> you got three checks? <laughs> did, did you fall three times? <clears throat> no Grey Mon X. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they said, oh, BT1 War Grey Mon. Swing. Four checks. I'm like, cool, devolve. Now the rest three are going off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was uh, a great. Good times. Yeah, I wish we got to play that, but um, it's neither here nor there. So. I'll pull one out later. <laughs> what do you what made you switch from or I guess not necessarily switch but like why did you end up playing like Digimon over Yu-Gi-Oh competitively strictly because uh, well two things the first one I like the memory system that's my f that's my favorite thing about the game uh, I do like that you can't over Yu-Gi-Oh you can't get an infinite turn unless you do some really sick shit shout out to purple green um <laughs> but yeah. you can't just you can't just do whatever you want. It makes you remember back on the resource topic. Your your turn is a resource. 
So you have to manage how you use that. Uh, and then the second reason being Yu-Gi-Oh! was evolving into something very gross. <laughs> it's If I lose the dice roll, I probably lose the game. And at least in Digimon and a couple of other games, uh, that doesn't happen. Yeah, that's uh, it's definitely fair. I think that's what a lot of people enjoy about getting into Digimon as well. It's definitely the fact that it's why decks like uh, Alphamon that absolutely abuse the living shit out of the memory system are so irritating because it's like, bro, I put you to one memory. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> you, you didn't even have anything on board. What do you mean yet? Or you can already. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think Prime Alphamont is probably like my most hated deck to play against. <laughs> Straight up. Because I was just like, especially when it goes to the Oryukans, like, I, I like, why, why are you passing me for memory, but somehow you keep in turn by doing shenanigans, and then you just OTK the shit out of me. What do you like, mean it's, it's crazy. seven memory? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> why are you gaining so much memory for? Like, this should not be allowed. Oh, my God. That's why, you know, I agree. Alphamon, that Dora Gray hit, that Dora Gray can never come back. That Dora nope. Gray enabled a lot of shenanigans that Alpha Mod will never be able to live through again. But, mm -mm. you know, they come out with mm -mm. decks like Fenry and it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> my opponent's turn doesn't start till they're oh happy or more memory? <laughs> it's like, uh, the memory is at negative. Uh, the memory is at two on your opponent's side. But wait, it's not your turn yet. I can still do whatever the fuck I want. Like, what? Like, I love that kind of stupidity. But at the same time, it's like, this is how we start making dumb shit. This is how shit gets busted. This is why I'm so excited to see what um, the new level seven does. Because how do you make this busted deck become even more busted? I'm a big fan of that too, because I love those weird gimmicky things. What I don't like is now they can do ADP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, it now, it's like, crazy. now it's like you, you kind of force people to play in, in, a, in a format where now Levia just has a chance to come even better because... 16 gets really sick with the new four, uh, the five and six, not the five. Yeah. Now you kind of have to play Leviathan or at least play something that plays Biting Crush Leviathan because that's the only way you're going to get around that. Even regular decks, they'll just go cool. <laughs> ADP just to make sure I don't hit a training boost or a memory boost or a fucking hammer spark or nothing like that. And then I'm just going to turn the table sideways. <laughs> yep. I know that's facts. Um, so in playing second, obviously, like half of the decision in playing second is just because, well, like you said, <laughs> you just like you like playing second. But why did you decide to take second to nationals? Well, how many I have you played at all three nationals? Um, all three, uh, I guess. Let's see, the first one, the first one was the one online, right? Over COVID. Yeah, yeah. that was so, yeah, over yeah. online. So yes, I did play in that one. And as expected, Jessmon is the one that said, get out my face. Uh, I did great against everything else, except for that. Except except ADP Jessmon. <sighs> and then the second Nationals was the black or gray format. I tested yeah. it against the deck. And in my testing, I was doing pretty good. Once I landed at Nats, no. <laughs> and uh no it if if anything that that nationals i didn't get anywhere just because of my record i actually had to drop because there was a ruling issue because people were arguing back i guess people didn't really know how yuya worked properly and mm -hmm. they said they took the i'm immune to options as literal as possible and they said, so the instance was, I did Holy Flame on somebody on my turn after they were yu yu And then they came on their turn and they said, swung, swing anyway, you, Holy Flame doesn't touch me. And the judge at the time had ruled, uh, because I guess there wasn't full uh, knowledge on that either with them on their side. They said, yeah, yu yu says he doesn't even get the sec minus three. So that's my final rule. And that was my last loss. And then I said, okay, I'm out. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I went. Ex that's, I mean, that was my ex two. If drop. that's how it's going to go the rest of the night, I mean, I'd agree. I'm good. Because then at that point, if that's how they're ruling it, my entire deck built for this does nothing. I'm not wasting my time. I'm getting food. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And then for this, uh, for this Nats, yes, I played it against, 
I went in knowing um, Anubis was going to be the big deck. And uh, expecting Anubis and Red Hybrid. Uh, admittedly, I forgot Venus Mon existed over that Nastos. Otherwise, I probably pl would have played that as well. But I know Shadow Seraphi was such an amazing card versus Red Hybrid because I put you in a position that says if you go Emperor Grey, I heal one and I blow your card up. I don't care if you get the Tamer back. But even then, that was an iffy niche because I lost one Red Hybrid deck and I, fa I played against only two Red Hybrid decks and I beat the second one. I lost to the first one. But Anubis Mon didn't matter to me so much because they're just another purple deck that draws infinite cards so yeah. the game plan wasn't a thousand percent to deck them out like if i could swing hey listen i'm gonna go for it but it certainly was to say whatever you do i'm just not gonna care about it <laughs> and as you saw with the match against bryce he's the only guy I, only guy i know that was able to pull off the black auto uber combo properly on me because everyone else messed it up or just didn't know how the card works or just didn't play it or knew it existed maybe but yeah he's the only one that hit me with that and he's the only one that beat me with the seven other anubis matches i went through Ugh. damn <laughs> is that is that both in swiss and top cut uh let's see in swiss was it 13 rounds that day i think it was or 12 one of those two it was two bilga which I was surprised I didn't see as much of. The two red hybrid, one hunters, and he was fucking awesome. Um, and then everything else is just Anubis. <laughs> Golly. And then a lot of Anubis. top cut was, I think the first one. The first one was Mirage Gal, and that was an unfortunate win because the, he. As most players do, when we're getting comfortable, we make some plays, we shortcut things. He uh, went into burst mode, but because I had a judge sitting next to me watching the match, because I guess everybody loves SecCon doing something, it's like, oh shit, this is here? What the hell? Uh, the judge called them out and said, hey, listen, you evolved, you drew, you did your effects, you didn't burst the tamer, so you're Oof. losing that memory. And there was nothing I could... I was going to let it go. Partially because I knew it was in my security. I wasn't losing. But... <laughs> and the judge was like, nah. You lose the memory. And then... That's that. And that sucked. Because the dude was cool. Uh, my second round of top cut... Was the Bagra player. And... Oh, the infamous Bagra player. The Bagra <laughs> player. And he... <laughs> uh... He told me he didn't expect to get this far. He was just going to X3 drop. And then just people just wouldn't <laughs> stop losing to him. And <laughs> that was probably the no. high. That was the absolute highlight of my nationals. Because now I'm going to use that. <laughs> if, if anything like that ever happens again. I'm like, yo, I play second. Just stop losing. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was he was probably my hardest match because it wasn't uh oh i swing hit your security it's we actually had to play chess and it came down to deck out uh game one i took it through deck out because i caught him with lament into avenge kid into deck reload and then game two he caught on and in game three it was just all right well i won by life because of time rules uh let's see and round three of top cut it was against red hybrid the four i I believe he came fourth place in last worlds and uh mm -hmm. the azulong mon was the one that won me that match because he wiped the stack and then he's like oh <laughs> <laughs> he, he put down the goonie mon on the table and said oh well i have game and i'm like well are you he did the the usual okay show the card i'm like okay well are you swinging he said well yeah <laughs> and i said okay cool blast into azulong bounce and he's he's like oh <laughs> Okay, well, play Ukomon pass. You want to go to game two? And I said, yeah, I'll go to game two. I gained all my memory. Re restocked my deck, blew up the board, and then cast the greed of the Emperor. And I was like, all right, cool. You want to go to the game two? Because we could do that. <laughs> I win. And then I won in game two because time rules. And he was actually thinking out his plays. He didn't, do, he didn't take a seven-minute turn, but... <laughs> 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 Thank God. Uh... But, uh... That was that. Oh, shit. And then I 
<laughs> the semifinals for Nationals got recorded, but I never heard of what happened to that. It was against another New York City guy. Uh, he actually goes to another locals over in uh, Manhattan, and he was playing Mirage, and then I never heard about what happened in that video. I don't know if it got uploaded or not. So, uh, so from my understanding, none of the car- the matches that I got recorded have got uploaded yet. Mm, yet. Way past that. Because that's crazy. <laughs> yet. <laughs> uh, he, I won that. We went into game three because he forgot what Shadow Serafi does. And uh, he, <laughs> he evolved in, he rose up as level five. Did evolved into Mirage Gal. I had to take his security. And I said, all right, cool. Devolve. And he was like, oh, I forgot about that. I shook my hand. <laughs> Honest guy. <laughs> yeah. Great guy. I love him to death. <laughs> and then we all know what happened with Bryce. For sure. So now you you done went and played SecCon for 13 plus rounds. How'd you end up taking SecCon to Worlds then? Uh, I was going to do Levia, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, but I didn't think of... I knew the, the Gobblemon package was its own thing. I didn't test with the Gobblemon package, mostly because trying to allot time with work and practice got a little messy because I was also practicing SecCon. Uh, most of my practice went against Red Hybrid, and my build was strictly made for Red Hybrid, uh, which is funny because I only saw one in Swiss over in that top cut, and... That was the easiest match I had that whole entire day. <laughs> uh, but other than that, I haven't tried Levy with the Gabu. I was playing it with just the Levy cards. Like, oh, if I give you a card, I'm just going to gain infinite memory and I'm just going to go off. And there were too many instances where it felt like I was playing a Greymon deck <laughs> and not seeing my Greymon pieces. <laughs> and I'm like, well, yeah. I don't want to go to Nat, to Worlds playing Greymon. And I'm a break and I'm just going to be upset for the rest of the day. So I'm just gonna go and play with something I know. I know that feeling. Beats this deck because anything that doesn't have protection will has a 50-50, maybe a 60-40 matchup into second because I manipulate my life into bombs. You have to swing because you you draw more than me, and if you don't, I'm just gonna eventually start poking at you, and then you hit a bomb. Goodbye, goodbye, Dogo. So. Yeah. The practice ended up leading to me taking SecCon and then went into World's uh, Top Cut. I adjusted it for Venus Mon for Red Hybrid and then we went into playing that. The Swiss was best of one, which sucked. Still sucks. I'm still angry about it being best of one because it's silly. Uh, best of one. I lo- Not a good format to no. gauge anybody's skill level. No. For sure. I- and it was especially, it was a little worrisome because I'm playing SecCon in a best of one format. So if I mulligan wrong, if I get, if I brick into another brick, it sucks. And that is what happened in the last round of it. They did five rounds with 16 people or 15. Uh, round one was frozen. He, uh, he got used to my, he got used to my deck in the same, same, uh, that one game. He got lucky with all his hits. I did not. <laughs> And he took that. He took that win. Round two, I had the buy because uh, the the Fang Long player didn't show up. <laughs> uh, I would have more than likely won that just because of the way they do time rules. Because for SecCon, that match is just once you drop Fang Long, I just degrade, go on, carry on, give me more infam- infinite memory. Right. And round three was another Asia player who played Levy and. I guess he was just so used to doing it with his deck, the muscle memory. He decked himself out in five minutes. <laughs> Which, oh my god! <laughs> it was it was cool, dude. But uh, he <laughs> it was awesome deck build. I ended up changing my deck to look kind of like his afterwards, just not so straight gas, no breaks, <laughs> not so draw heavy. I kind of like mixed it between uh, Frozen's and his, and uh, it was. I'm not trying to deck myself. I'd rather deck out in 10 minutes than five. <laughs> I was the first I was the first one done and I was just watching everybody like, oh. Okay. Uh round four was red hybrid. Which uh 
I'm I'm mulliganed into so opened up all options. I said, no, we're not doing this again. I learned from that. Mulliganed <laughs> and I drew Magna Ace, Venus Mon, Shadow Seraphi, Salomon, and Digi Emperor. Golly, that's goaded. And, Sounds like a good hand. Okay. And I had to I had to hold back screaming because once I saw him flip the Coromon, I was like, this is one of two things. Red hybrid or shine gray. And I saw Flame One. I was like, oh, free. He, he put me to four with, with the memory setter eyes. And For I sure. my eyes lit up. I was like, sick. Magna Ace Venus. Go ahead. <laughs> Next turn. Shadow Seraphi. Sign the slip. <laughs> he, he he looked at the both. He was like, "Heart slam emperor, great mom." <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It it was it was not a good day for him. And I half of me felt bad. The other half of me was like, "Yeah, fuck this deck." <laughs> <laughs> And then Karma bit me because I went against Bloom Lord and I bricked heavier than I've ever bricked before in my life. <laughs> I opened up uh, one Magna, Venus, Venus, Seraphi, Seraphi. <laughs> Oof. <clears throat> and then I played Magna. He said, cool. Warp into uh, <laughs> Hydramon. Go ahead. I'm like, oh, sick. Nice. And then every check was just, oh, Digimon. Oh, Digimon. So... I got to be the underdog of worlds with uh, coming in third place after Swiss, and then I got to play. I got got to get my salty run back against Frozen. <laughs> A salty run back, baby. So, so quick okay. question: since we're talking, we're on worlds right now. I'm sure okay. Barney has other stuff, but well, by all means, was it? A hard um, language barrier. How did that work out? Because I'm sure, like the mm. Japanese players, for example, right? They don't know really much English. I would assume. Um, I don't know. You could tell me I'm wrong on that. So, like, how was that when it came to like the the Just speaking and talking to each other? Uh oh boy. So yes, there there was a language barrier. Uh, it wasn't huge because when people say it's like a second language out there, it's not. It's like one big mm-hmm. ELA class. Everybody's still struggling to learn all the fucking. Especially because English is a hard language. It's, they're still struggling right. to learn it. So they don't know fully what the hell you're even talking about. When it came to playing them, a lot of it was like, oh, just point at the card because they know what the cards do. But if I try to right. say, when I, there were a couple of times where I had to explain, explain an effect, they, were, they had to call over somebody that knew um, Japanese. Like a translator? Yeah, for them, or one of the regular judges, I guess. And he was asking questions like, oh, this does that. Oh, this does that. Uh, somebody like one of the red hybrid dude actually uh, didn't know that if you swing under Shadow Seraphi, you devolve first and then battle, and he, he had to get that explained to him as one thing. Um, other than that, the translators there were cool. They did an amazing job. Uh, the only problem was the translators were not that savvy with the game, so that mm. also kind of Oof. caused another barrier unintentional i imagine because they were like oh we'll just, yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll just get some translators just to help these english fucks uh <laughs> and they had to go back and forth with a couple of judges because they don't know what the hell we're doing they just see cardboard so yeah. right <laughs> they just see like oh this is words this. and paper <laughs> yeah they just see two different language card sets they're like yo what does this do and they'll be like oh i i explained it to them this is how the effect goes they translate it to them. They don't know what the fuck I'm saying. And then they explain it back. And it's like, I don't know what the fuck you're saying either. <laughs> but the uh, language barrier was, it was an issue, but it wasn't on, on a, it wasn't, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It wasn't the end all be all thing. Right. Like you were able to get around it. You were able to work with them because the translators were really cool. They were able to. They were, they were able doing to, their best. Yes, they were able to relay everything, all the information. That's good, at least. I think the best now, part was when I asked for water for one of them, and then uh, she, I asked the train, the I asked one of them for water. She asked the translator. The translator said, "Yeah, he wants water." And then everybody got a bottle of water except for me. <laughs> 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 it's, it was. I was like, oh. 
Nice! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, water, water for please. water for us there, please. please. And, I, <laughs> and then she walked by and was like, "Didn't he get you one?" <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then she went over. She grabbed me. She got me three, and I felt special. But <laughs> Dang, there you go. You're one at the end of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I had a couple of W's that day. It was great. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah. uh, well, I'd say one of the biggest W's was winning in the finals, Dang. which is our next topic. You know, um, the first in-person worlds. Yes. The first in-person worlds. Um, you know, I'm just curious to hear out of the champion's mouth in his words. You know, what were your thoughts about your finals match against uh, Frozen? Um, the way that that went, the way everything was perceived, because you know we we are just people who witnessed it, but you are the one who experienced it. So, just curious to hear, you know, what your experience with that was. Mm. So uh, it was, I was I was already kind of hyped because prior to that we all had an agreement like, hey, listen, uh, <laughs> English top four, and. Yeah, unfortunately, we let one of the OCG guys slip in, but that guy, <laughs> I had to be the hero in that situation, uh, as I mentioned in the, another thing. And playing against Frozen was, it was a little odd because so before this, we were all hanging out. So you get to hang out, you get to have food with these people. We're all chilling. Great guys, all of them. I love them all to death. Uh, Land and Frozen, especially because those are like the first two dudes I acquainted with when I landed and when with the frozen played a little slow not because he was intentionally slow playing but because I guess he takes the extra time to think he did that in Swiss as well so I uh, once I once I saw it was me playing against him in the final match I had a feeling it would go into that so I had to change up how I played uh, because I didn't want to I had to kind of put a little extra pressure on him in the match, both by playing and by actually telling him that, like, hey, listen, you got to do something because the clock's running. Um, the judges didn't, uh, I guess, on their side, they're not used to dealing with that because oh, Japan, they do best of ones everywhere. That and the fact that on their side, they take this game not as competitively as we do. It's like really? they, they have uh, at least interesting this is part part of this is opinion because i go like when you when you see their top decks a lot of them they play this game because they love digimon on okay. our side as tcg players a lot of us play for competitivity because we have that competitive spirit we want to be the best we want to win they don't like we're on like a level 10 of the competitive scale they play at maybe like a six at highest um if anything, that's what led to Apocalypse getting the extra hate that it did because the couple people that do play like that made people leave the game over there and they made locals almost unplayable to the point that it was 16 people of just straight Apocalypse month. So Jeez. shit like that. Um, so yeah, they're not used to going into time and stuff like that. So maybe they didn't know how to handle it. Maybe they wanted to keep it as entertaining or fun for everybody as they could without saying hey listen this match is over due to time you disqualified that would have sucked for i would even even as me if i won that way i'd still be upset about that because i wouldn't view that as a real win uh yeah they and then when when i did nudge them they were like oh like he is advancing the game state he's making small plays uh, whether it's like training boost, he's looking through the cars, looking through his hand, and it's like they didn't view it as malicious. I didn't view it as malicious. I viewed it as him thinking way too goddamn much. But it is the nature of SecCon to make people start smoking at the ears and fry a couple brain brain lobes. Uh, I did edge him on to move. Uh, to make some moves he had to advance some of his plays were because I was telling him yo you, you gotta make a move it's been five minutes please please <laughs> like can I have a turn yes like, sir don't like come on don't do this you have you have I'm gonna fall asleep <laughs> you have a rookie in raising 
and you have two cards revealed by memory boost. Some of this... What is there to think about? Some of this is not as hard as... Like, if you're trying to think five turns ahead, please, that's my job. Let me do that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, he's... That was a little surprising to me because he... May, maybe he had, like, a pre pressure back home or something. I don't know. I'm not in his head. and Not in his head. I'm not in his shoes. I'm not over there with him. But... All I do know is... The time rules probably could have been adjusted... Up to me, I would have let it go as, hey, listen, for the finals, there's no time limit, just like Nats was. I understand they had one piece right after us, so that's why I wouldn't argue against them having the time rules. I appreciate them noting that he took a while and giving us the extra time. The playing until turn six was new to me, but I know how that goes. My, my deck is tailored to win instances like that. Uh, it sucks. It felt like he uh, didn't get to play his best. He kept making the excuses of, oh, I'm uncomfortable. I want to take the shacking off. They didn't let him do this. They didn't let him do this. And I was like, at some point, some of this isn't on them. Some of this is on you. Right. He did apologize to me as like, hey, listen, uh, after switch, this is that, hey, listen, I'm sorry it took a while. Your deck just makes me think. And I'm like, hey, that's fine. Makes everybody think. But then after seven minutes, it's like there's boy, something going after, on with this. Boy, <laughs> after seven minutes, after you play <laughs> wisdom into memory boost, into thinking for three minutes, and then thinking <laughs> that your turn passed, and you try to pop the wisdom to. How was that? Because like I, I didn't <laughs> watch the game. I didn't watch the that finals. I watched your Taki match, but I didn't watch finals. So how was that in your eyes? Like when he did that turn, where he like. Early on, did the training boost, did a memory boost, and then it took so wild, and he tried to pop the training boost. He was taking. So how was like that situation? <laughs> he took so long. Part of me almost let that go, and I was like, "Yo, wait a minute! <laughs> yeah, wait, wait a minute! Wait a goddamn minute! Wait a goddamn, so minute. Right. Wait a goddamn <laughs> minute!" And I and I brought up like, "Yo, didn't you play this?" It was twice, and the uh, the memory boost when I this turn took so, so long. Also, I thought he played the memory boost on the turn after in that same turn as well. But judges look back. Did you? And like, yeah, because uh, you know, again, from our point of view, we have a lot of you know we're watching her from here, and we watch we're reading comments and doing everything, watching the live stream, whatever. Did you feel it was malicious on his part? Uh, a lot of like slow play, plus like purposely trying to pop a training boost to try to get ahead or something. Because a lot of people thought he was trying to do that on purpose. Uh, I don't think it was malicious, but because uh, he's uh. Whether or not you come off as that type of person or not, it doesn't. Uh, mm. I'm not even like, taking into accountability prior meetups. Uh, I don't think it was malicious because he's he's a person that he maybe he is used to playing comfortably. He was already, I guess, uncomfortable, upset from the fact that he was hot from the jack and kept asking to take it off. Uh, the way the world set up, the table was set up where. We have to put our hands on the thing. That was right. that was also a little an odd thing to me, but awkward feeling probably oh, yeah, awkward. because you're used to going like this. I, I want to hold my like cards. I want to show my goddamn yeah. cards. Damn it, I pay for these. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then he's also he's a short individual. Like he's probably like up to my maybe my upper arm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn. I know Peter, that was a little funny. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm I'm six foot. And oh, you, 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 you okay. guys saw me at the table. I'm just sitting. It's a regular table. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how it looked. I didn't. I didn't even watch. Get a chance to watch the stream yet, because I'm not an ego head. I want to wait a while before I look at myself. <laughs> but from from my point of view, he's sitting across his. It's. It was almost like his neck was like barely just above the table. Whether Damn. whether it was because he was hunching forward, he was trying to <laughs> lean, but not also lean too far in. I. Uh, it was. Just, he, he looked as uncomfortable as probably watching that match made people feel. And he he started letting just nerves get to him. He started breaking down. He started... I mean, you saw the revelation of light plays. Even he started yeah, forgetting what yeah. was in play. That was big. And, yeah. The first one was okay. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the Gilmon again, was okay. Right. The Gazimon was big. <laughs> oh, the one directly after this, like... I, I even asked him, like, yo, you were right over there? And he's like, oh, I'm hot, and this this feels uncomfortable. It's annoying. It's like, yeah. 
I get it. He broke down but under. You're, but you're also in the same conditions too. So I, <laughs> like you, I guess, dealt with the hotness, the jacket. Yeah. Uh, I guess better per se <laughs> than he did in that sense. Uh, so <laughs> I, I don't know how to word it any better than just, I guess I'm just built differently. Because <laughs> it is what it is. And even then, like Take also was in those same situations. He wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't like yeah. neck over the table. But granted, uh, like even a lot of people play weird under different circumstances. Uh, he just, I guess, let things get to him to the point that it affected his way of thought, and then he ended up fucking himself over to for all intents and purposes uh he even said he thought he was gonna win and he should have you know, according to his words he should have won because he had the most points da 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 but uh on another hand sure you might have been in uh under uncomfortable circumstances or environments for you which you're used to but we're in their world so we have to deal with their rules and sometimes you just have to deal with it there was an instance where in both his matches, I think he played against William prior to us, which is surprising they didn't stream or record that one. Uh, he kept arguing with the judges because some of their rules and their policies and the little guidebook they gave us prior to this, they either changed it up last minute, quote unquote, or they just forgot about him. Like in my match with Take, we went to game uh, after game one, we rolled the dice again to see who goes first. Right. That was weird. Yeah, that was strange. That was odd. Uh, in there, both with how we normally play, both us, them, and in their guidebook. That's not how that was supposed to go. But they still did that. And I'm not going to go, like, oh, I just accept that. I was like, oh, okay, sure. We'll roll the dice yeah, again. It Fuck is it. what it is. Like, I, at, at that point, I'm in the top four. I'm not caring about the nuances. I'm not going to be... Uh, for all intents and purposes, and maybe lack of better wording, a Strickler or a Karen. Um, not that Frozen is a Karen, but because he was right on his rulings. Uh, I'm just not going to care about that. I'm there to play the game. I'm there to be competitive, and that's what my focus is on. Uh, there was a point when he was talking with the judges that also ran the clock down some. Because they didn't stop the clock for that <laughs> in the middle of the match. That's what I was wondering as well. Yeah, they did not stop the clock for that. Uh, and I guess that was where that also helped with the extra time because he pulled out their book, talked to the translators, the translators talked to the judges, the judges talked to the translators, and the translators talked to us. <laughs> and this is now we're just playing te uh, telephone with the cups. Whispered down the alley. <laughs> and, right, right. And he was, he was right with the loser has to go f uh uh, first or whatever. Chooses. Yeah, the loser chooses. Well, for them in Worlds, the loser goes first. Regardless, oh, there is no choose. Okay. There is no choosing. Uh, and then he was right that on another ruling with time where they did it differently. For us, the store champs and our Nats, we go. That's time. Most life wins. If not, most death right. wins. For them, it's if both players are three and above, then you go into deck. And, being above life? Yeah, three life and above. Or, Strange. Now, I'm going to be honest. I skimmed over a lot of the rules because I know what the hell I'm doing. Uh, I don't... Th maybe there was a, a nuance there that Frozen read because I guess he studied that book in and out. But that was, it was his issue with the judges and they got some of their stuff wrong. And I'm not going to knock him. He's on top of this shit. Uh, if there's anything you should know is know what the hell you're doing. But when you're arguing with them and we're in the last round and then the clock is fucking running. Yeah. <laughs> you're wasting time. The clock is right. fucking running. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm not... I feel bad because... I feel bad for only because he broke down. But I don't feel bad that I took the win that way. Because uh, if, you're in, if you're in the world, that environment... Know what your deck does. Know how to play in the game. And he does know how to play. He's not, he's not a shitty player. Thank God. Oh my God. If somebody worse than that made it up there, I'd be upset. Uh, it's a cool dude, all that stuff. But you, uh, the better player or the 
be the player who's best able to keep cool and keep their keep collected is what wins the games like that. And yeah. unfortunately, I was that person. Uh, it's me. I'm him. I'm Himothy. <laughs> you, you know what the funniest shit was? When y'all came out on the stage, right? They're like, here's our top four. I was like, oh, cool. Look at all these oh. guys. And they said, <laughs> Frozen, you're 5-0 in Swiss. What do you have to say? And this motherfucker <laughs> said, you see them? I'm paraphrasing. I'm paraphrasing. But this is how I took it. This is, this is how it read in my head, right? See these motherfuckers standing next to me? I wiped the ass with they four once. <laughs> I could do it again. <laughs> that's, 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 that's what I fucking heard. Uh, if 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 they had me when they on the screen when they asked me, I actually had to turn away and laugh at that because oh, I, <laughs> I see what type of time we're on. I got you, <laughs> bro. That shit had me cracking up. I was like, oh, this motherfucker cocky. I, 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 I was like, I I see you. That's why I had to Let's go in the You get out there, and do it. <laughs> And that was the best part for me. That's that's why I had to be a little extra with my with the entry and stuff like that. So I, I said the same thing. It's like, oh, we're, we're excited over a best of one. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I see. We're so uh, the, the funny part about that, too, we as audience, we didn't know at that moment it was a best of one. Yeah. So when he said when they said he was 5-0, I was like, and he's talking like that. I was like. Yo, this, did this man go like 2-0 against everybody? Like, he just 2-0 sweeping people? Nah, he won and and like, me and Vardy, <laughs> Vardy had that reaction. And my reaction was like, uh, yo, I respect that. I I, I love the, I love the trash talk, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm yeah. that type of person, too. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I guess, you know, <laughs> I'm originally from New York and basketball, everything like that. So if you're in sports, you trash talk is a normal thing. Absolutely. So for me, I was like, Yo, I respect that confidence. Let's see how he does. And then he melted at the finals. <laughs> and yeah, Barney was over here just like telling me like he ain't shit. This day. I was like, bro, I'm dying. <laughs> I was like, bro. Because it's, it's the same shit, bro. Like when the 49ers, if the 49ers had talked. Uh, Peter, are you a sports fan? I assume you're a sports fan. I dabble. You dabble. <laughs> when the 49ers went to the Super Bowl, they talk mad ass shit. If the 49ers went to the fucking Super Bowl and fucking shit the bed against the Chiefs, bro. Oh, God. Just just disband the team. Disband the team. <laughs> disband the team. I was like, y'all already talking mad ass shit. Like, y'all don't need to talk mad ass shit, then go lose on top of it. So, for, so Frozen, for me, that's the shit that got. I was like, he talked... He talked that shit. You could talk your shit, but you can't talk your shit if you can't walk the walk. And like, it's one thing when like, oh, you lose because like he did go oh, to the finals though. <laughs> they made it the finals, right? And so you know, it's why I said in the beginning, and I'll say it again: the top sixteen, congratulations to them, y'all built differently, or top fifteen, <laughs> as you say, uh, <laughs> y'all made it. We didn't. <laughs> However, that being said, I know you were trying not to say it, but what it comes down to at the, at the end of the day is. It is not just who keeps their composure the best, who who you know who does this the best. At the end of the day, the best player won. Like that's realistically yeah. what it boiled down to. Yeah. Frozen wasn't able to keep his composure. Like sure, uh, environmental circumstances got to him, but like y'all were all in the same situation. People talk. Sec people say Seccon's a one play deck. <laughs> Yo, Pete, let me tell you something. Do you know how many people? I don't I remember. Mean, I'm sure you know. I'm sure you've seen it, but like the shit talking about Seccon <laughs> after Worlds was so crazy Bro. to me. I was very like, I knew people hated Seccon, but I, I, didn't, I didn't know it was like levels like where they were like, oh, this is the most brain dead, brain dead deck ever, blah, Bro, blah, yep. blah. This brain dead this, one like, play a turn ass what? deck. Yep. So why are you not at Worlds? Like, I know why I'm not at Worlds. You know what I'm saying? Like, even if I play Seccon, you know what I'm saying? Like, so all, like, I just don't understand some of those comments that were saying stuff like that. It's crazy to me. So all the memes aside from both the, the clip, all the clips some of my friend, my friend group has gotten from Worlds and also Nats. Oh, my God. My, oh, there were some good memes. I'm not going to oh, lie. My favorite one is this is uh, one of the cameras caught me while I was like holding the trophy. It was like, yeah. You see frozen. Oh, yeah. You see frozen. And the frozen in the back, right? <laughs> One of my friends clipped that and threw that around, and I love frozen to death. But that that fucked me up. <laughs> that <laughs> fucked me up. And that's my new favorite reaction uh, meme for, for everything. But the the best thing about watching all that is prior to worlds, I told everybody uh, over here, I topped with second. I came second place. 
everybody hated me when I did that because I was like, oh, it was, yep. a, it, was, it was a boring finals match. Oh, the most broken deck in the format versus the most hated deck in the format. This is terrible. So I told everyone like, well, I'm hated nationally. I may as well make everybody hate me worldwide. So <laughs> <laughs> I may as well it's, make the whole world fucking hate me. <laughs> it's so funny because I feel like like the people that were in attendance and that's had a different uh, view versus the people that watched it at, at home because like um i don't know because i think the table for at nats was in a different area than the attendance if i, if I remember correctly yes and so i don't know if you heard like like every like sec, sec uh security bomb or every like play that he made happen like there was cheers and boos and like there was so much like uh, going on and I didn't, it didn't sound like it was like a hated like oh fuck setcon it was more like oh shit this is crazy yeah so like <laughs> when you see from like our when we were watching like like me and Vardy we were like oh this is fucking crazy it's move for move this is good dead. you know what I'm saying oh, like we was, we was in a crowd unfortunately because you know we didn't do well in day one <laughs> and, we don't need to anyways, relive that. Um, yeah, we don't yeah, need yeah. to relive that. Don't put that on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyways, me. anyways, anyways. Um, I got, I got over it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we uh, did second place in you know the three v three, so that was all good. But um, <sighs> yeah, it was such, it was a cool environment for us to watch it at live, and then like we see on like comments, and it was just like the complete opposite. It feels like <laughs> it was. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it, that was great, and. I was able to, as probably some of you even saw me, I was dabbling in it because that that flight home was long and annoying. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah. That's the 13 hour flight. And I was it a straight flight. It was a straight through flight. Oh, good Lord. 13 hour. And I was Oof. in and I was in economy plus. All, I, all I had was time and patience. <laughs> yeah. So I was, I was going through every single comment, and I was like, everybody was like, oh, well, if you think you could beat Setcon, well, by all means, I'll see you at Next Worlds. I got you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Uh, That's straight facts, yeah, bro. I'll see, I'll see oh, worlds from worlds, my fault. I was confused for a second. I thought you were talking about Nats. I mean, hey, listen, <laughs> my bad, my bad. No, fuck Nats. I'll see you at Worlds. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> sure, you could talk. You could talk that shit. You won. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's yeah, true. for sure. For sure. Because <laughs> if they do the same thing they did with last Nats and make it open invite, anybody could go to Nats. Uh, yeah. Fuck two yeah. round by, right? Like if you get two round by, hey, you're fucking nice too. Uh, but win Nats or win Nats or top Nats, and I'll see you at Worlds. <laughs> for sure. Plain and simple. That's facts. I even told some people, hey, listen, y'all are free to come into my DMs. We can set this up on the sim and I'll play you. <laughs> <laughs> or you come in Discord. We'll do it as a webcam. I've got plenty of time. <laughs> See, that's what I mean, bro. If you talk your shit, you better walk the walk. Not no, as as uh, as one of the keyboard muses. warriors. Nah, as one of I the love them. saying. I love not them no, so much. <laughs> um, you know, being a frozen and then and then melting when 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 it matters the most. The frozen yeah, one is that what I just heard? Yeah, like like you know, like I said, you know, props to each of y'all. Y'all made it there. That's also one of my favorite um, things, by the way, the frozen melting thing. I was, <laughs> yo, that shit was funny. <laughs> I, love, as fuck. I love that. <laughs> Again, props to y'all. Y'all made it there, but like some of those memes were fucking hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right, well, we're getting to an hour forty, so we're about to head on up out of here. Peter, what are your last parting words for our listeners? Uh. <laughs> I like some of y'all. Some of y'all, you got a head on your shoulders after that uh, that restriction. Uh, wants and <laughs> desires. I like that. Uh, but yeah, take uh, take what you can from Worlds. Don't take forever like Frozen did. Don't let pressure f uh, fuck you up. And just, uh, ultimately, remember, if you know what you're doing with your cards, and if you know how to keep yourself cool, collected, you can be, do the same exact thing in every single match. Because Worlds, to me, just felt like another Locals because I just sat down, played against my opponent, and I made their day miserable. <laughs> 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 and I understand that Psycon is an annoying matchup, but it is what it is sometimes. There's nothing you could do about that. Honestly. Hey, we all, there's, there's annoying matchups all around. I fucking detest Red Hybrid with the living passion. <sighs> But you know who who the fuck likes a three check three check no option ass twenty k fucker 
who on deletion, if he dies somehow, will just spit out another Takuya uh, to let them just do it all the fuck over again. Emperor but, you know, Grey, double fire dart, swing for five, Omnimon. That's, that's you know, it's fun, neither here nor fucking there, you know what I mean? interactive <laughs> gaming. <laughs> hey, so it was Biel's one back in the day, right? Oh. <laughs> Uninteractive gaming. Oh, Bro. God. <laughs> I like Beelzebub. Damn, what's your part in words? I do like Beelzebub. I still enjoy Beelzebub to this day. I mean, I love him as a Digimon. The deck, though. Eh. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> fuck that triple death slinger, double wizard mon on mill type shit. It's Light Swords. I like that uh, stuff. <laughs> That's all it is. Oh, uh, I used to hate Light Swords. And oh, that, that explains everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't because, like, to me, I just hate the randomness of hoping that you mill good. Because if you don't, then you're just stuck in a situation where... You don't do nothing, so yeah. that's new here today. I just, I just want to mill my Beelzebub. That's it. <laughs> uh, my parting words: I think Peter showed that if you learn how to play a deck and you understand um, your deck in and out, you can go all the way to worlds and uh, win it. My parting words: Play what the fuck you want. Like, yeah. <laughs> at the end of the day, who the fuck is telling you that you can't play? You know, fifty card Eosmon. I'm telling you not to play fifty card Eosmon. What All the right, fuck we is we, wrong we, with you? Don't. We're not saying Eosmon. <laughs> We're not saying dog don't shit. Do don't do that. Do not do that. I'm saying don't play that. <laughs> do not do but that. No. And even when BT17, like. even when BT17 comes out with Eos Eosmon Spark, don't play it. It's still gonna be bad. Hey Lance, <laughs> if you're listening to this, I just want to let you know: no matter what you do, Eosmon will still and always be the literal trash of the game. Even more so than Sukumon. Anyways, that is it. For today's episode of Digipod, the digital podcast. Thank you guys for listening. Until we talk to you guys the next time. Peace out. Catch you all in the next one. Adios.